IPS IvoColor is a universal stain and glaze system for the individual characterization of press ceramics, CAD produced restorations, and layering ceramics from IvoColor Vivident and Xenostar from VLAN Dental. The stain and glaze assortment is available as a starter kit, shade kit, essence kit, and in single refills. IPS IvoColor essences are stain powders for the individual characterization of dental restorations. They are available in 23 different shades for various characterization techniques. The IPS IvoColor mixing liquids, all round and long life, and the essence fluid can be used to mix the essence powders. Before application, clean the restoration with the steam cleaner. Open the container and remove a spatula tip of IPS IvoColor Essence. In order to create striking effects such as cracks in the enamel surface, stained fissures, or calcium spots on the tooth, it is advisable to mix with IPS IvoColor mixing liquid all round or long life. When creating a superficial glaze effect, use the IPS IvoColor Essence fluid, which you can mix to a paste-like consistency. It is possible to adjust the shade of a layering ceramic with the essence powder. The proportion of essence powder should not exceed 5% of the total amount of material. To mix the layering material, use the corresponding liquid. It is advisable to fire a test sample of the mixed ceramic before use. It is also possible to lay the essence powders directly into the moist, layered ceramic. Another technique, which can be used to individualize the tooth, is to characterize the cutback and then perform a characterization bake. Once fired, build up the enamel and transpa materials over the top of the cutback. Use the reddish shades to characterize the gingiva region. You can either stain the surface areas or mix the shades into the ceramic powder. Use the IPS IvoColor shade materials to adjust or correct the two shade. With the nine shade dentin and three shade incisal colors, all A to D tooth shades can be excellently reproduced. To dilute the shade pastes, use the IPS IvoColor mixing liquids all round and long life. Select the relevant shade from the shade allocation guide. The table can be found in the starter kit, shade kit, and in the instructions for use. Now take the required amount of IPS IvoColor shade and mix thoroughly on a mixing tray using a metal free spatula. Dip the spatula into a little IPS IvoColor mixing liquid all around or long life and mix the paste with the liquid to the required consistency. Wet the cleaned restoration with the mixing liquid. This will help to achieve a homogeneous shade application. Apply the shade paste in a very thin layer and compare the color intensity with the required tooth color in the shade guide. The paste consistency influences the application behavior and firing results. A thicker application leads to an inhomogeneous color effect. A more intense shade is achieved through repeated staining and firing, not by applying a thick layer. Now carry out the stain bake. The IPS IvoColor glazes are available in the form of powders and pastes. IPS IvoColor glaze paste and IPS IvoColor glaze powder are available optionally with or without fluorescence. The glaze powders and pastes with fluorescence 
are particularly well suited for monolithic restorations with no cell fluorescence. For example, monolithic zirconium dioxide. For mixing and diluting glazes, use IPS Ivocolor Mixing Liquid All Round or Long Life. IPS Ivocolor Essence Fluid should be used exclusively for mixing the essences and must not be used for glazes. Otherwise, it leads to gray discoloration. Here we will show you how to apply the glaze paste onto a monolithic crown as an example. Take the required amount of IPS Ivocolor glaze paste and mix it on a mixing plate with a metal-free spatula. Dip the spatula into some IPS Ivocolor mixing liquid all round or long life and mix the paste with the liquid until the material has a homogeneous honey-like consistency. Using a clean brush, apply the glaze to the restoration in an even layer. The thixotropic behavior of the glaze paste enables the application of superficial textures. If these are not desired, the glaze can be tapped smooth after application. This will create an evenly smooth surface. If you want a less glossy surface, dilute the glaze paste more and apply a thinner layer. Make sure that you do not dilute the mixed consistency any further with a moist brush. All monolithic restorations can be fired at only 710 degrees Celsius. For the relevant firing times, please see the instructions for use. IPS Ivocolor Glaze Powder is especially suitable for glazing layered ceramics when only a small degree of gloss is required in combination with the material's own shine and the surface texture of the ceramic is to be maintained. Use the IPS Ivocolor Mixing Liquid All Round or Long Life to mix the glaze powder. Apply the glaze in a thin layer on the veneer. Carry out the glaze bake according to the respective ceramic materials firing recommendations. The associated firing tables can be found in the IPS Ivocolor instructions for use. If you need to make a slight shade adjustment in the glaze bake, mix the relevant stain color with the glaze and then apply it to the restoration. Avoid applying the stain in the unfired glaze, as this can lead to rough surfaces on the fired restoration. The glaze paste gives partially veneered restorations, or those fabricated using cutback technique, an evenly distributed, high gloss finish. Apply the glaze evenly onto the monolithic and veneered areas. If you require less shine, dilute the glaze paste or use IPS Ivocolor glaze powder instead of the glaze paste. It is even possible to use a combination of glaze powder and glaze paste. The great advantage of IPS Ivocolor is the low firing temperature. This allows you to glaze restorations with monolithic and veneered parts in a single bake. IPS Ivocolor is suitable for all IPS ceramics, with the exception of uncrystallized IPS Emax CAD and IPS Emax CAD on restorations. During processing, please observe the safety instructions and production details stated in the instructions for use.